why is this painting always causing disputes? And his whereabouts are always mysterious until now. The original painting by Leonardo was thought to have been destroyed or lost around 1603 in 1978. Joanne Snow Smith argued that the copy in the collection of the Marquis Jean Louis de Guinée in Paris was the lost original, based on, among other things, its similarity to Leonardo's Saint John the Baptist. While Snow Smith was thorough in her research in regard to the provenance of the painting and its relationship to Haller, few art historians were convinced of her attribution. In 2005, a Salvatore Mundi was presented at an auction at the St. Charles Gallery Auction House in New Orleans, consigned from the estate of the Baton Rouge businessman Basil Clovis Hendry S.R. It had been heavily overpainted, to the point where the painting resembled a copy, and was, before restoration, described as a wreck, dark and gloomy. It was acquired by a consortium of art dealers that included Alexander Parrish and Robert Simon, a specialist in old masters. The consortium believed there was a possibility that this seemingly low-quality work might be Leonardo's long-missing original. As a consequence, they commissioned Diane Dwyer Modestini at New York University to oversee the restoration. When Modestini began removing the overpainting with acetone at the beginning of the restoration process, she discovered that at some point the stepped area of unevenness near Christ's face had been shaved down with a sharp object, and also leveled with a mixture of gesso, paint, and glue. Using infrared photographs Simon had taken of the painting, Modestini discovered a pentamento, a trace of an earlier composition, which had the blessing hand's thumb in a straight, rather than curved, position. The discovery that Christ had two thumbs on his right hand was crucial. This pentamento showed that the original artist had reconsidered the position of the figure, such a second thought is considered evidence of an original. Rather than a copy, as a painting copied from the finished original would not have such an alteration part way through the painting process. Ma Destiny proceeded to have the panel specialist Monica Griesbach chisel off a woodworm infested merothlaged panel, which had caused the painting to break into seven pieces. Griesbach reassembled the painting with adhesive and wood slivers. In late 2006, Ma Destiny began her restoration effort. The art historian Martin Kemp was critical of the result. Both thumbs of the painting's raw state are rather better than the one painted by Diane. Other experts have also been critical of the extensive level of restoration undertaken by Ma Destiny, and that it had impeded any attribution of the work, and some calling it a contemporary work or a masterpiece by Ma Destiny. From November 2011 through February 2012, the painting was exhibited at the National Gallery, London, as an autograph work by Leonardo, after authentication by that gallery. The painting was stored at the Dallas Museum of Art for the remainder of 2012 while museum leadership attempted and failed to raise the necessary funds to purchase the painting. In May 2013, the Swiss dealer Yves Bouvier purchased the painting for just over 75 million US dollars in a private sale brokered by Sotheby's, New York. The painting was then sold to the Russian collector Dmitry Rebolovlev for 127.5 million US dollars. The price that Rebolovlev paid was therefore significantly higher well beyond the 2% commission Bouvier was supposed to receive, according to Rebolovlev himself. Consequently, this sale, along with several other sales Bouvier made to Rebolovlev, created a legal dispute between Rebolovlev and Bouvier. As well as between the original dealers of the painting and Sotheby's. In 2016, the dealers sued Sotheby's for the difference of the sale arguing that they were shortchanged. 
Christie's auction. The painting was exhibited in Hong Kong, London, San Francisco, and New York in 2017, and then sold at auction at Christie's in New York on November 15, 2017 for $450,312,500. A new record price for an artwork, the hammer price was $400 million, plus $50.3 million in fees. The purchaser was identified as the Saudi Arabian Prince Badr bin Abdullah in December 2017, the Wall Street Journal reported that Prince Badr was an intermediary for Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. However. Christie's confirmed that Prince Badr acted on behalf of Abu Dhabi's Department of Culture and Tourism for display at the Louvre Abu Dhabi. In September 2018, the exhibition was indefinitely postponed, and a news report of January 2019 noted that no one knows where it is, and there are grave concerns for its physical safety. Georgina Adam, editor-at-large of the art newspaper, dismiss these reports, stating that we believe it's in storage in Geneva. In June 2019, the painting was reported to be on a luxury yacht belonging to Ben Salman, sailing on the Red Sea. The painting again failed to appear in the Louvre's Paris exhibition of Leonardo's works, held from October 24, 2019 to February 24, 2020. The exhibition displayed 11 paintings by Leonardo, of the fewer than 20 known to survive, but not the Salvatore Mundi. However, the 46-page booklet that accompanied the exhibition, briefly available in the museum bookshop, detailed the Louvre's scientific examinations and concluded that the results of the historical and scientific study allow us to confirm the attribution of the work to Leonardo da Vinci. In June 2021, The Observer newspaper quoted skeptical comments about the sale from Robert King Whitman, a former FBI art crime specialist. Why anyone would pay that kind of money for a piece that had questions about it is very strange. That particular painting is not worth what was paid for it. So there is a suspicious aspect to it. And the provenance is very murky.